Hey there, I'm Stephanie Gilbert, world-renowned social media scientist. Okay, not really a scientist, but how cute is this lab coat? I'm Stephanie Gilbert, and I am the founder of The Social Media CEO, where I help service providers start, systemize, and scale a profitable social media management business. And I'm also the creator of the Social Media Manager Market, which is a directory built for social media managers to connect with ideal clients. Now here's how I tackle multi-channel content planning. First, I do a big picture brain dump, including all of the important sales and promotions that a business has coming up. I usually do this one quarter at a time, but if you know what's happening further out than that, you can include that here too. So I make sure to include upcoming holidays, sales and promotions, product launches, relevant evergreen content, email list builders, affiliates, collaborations, as well as any other information that we wanna make sure get shared during that specific time period. Now I put all of this information into a content calendar on Airtable in a grid view called Master Content List. Of course, you can use whatever calendar or project management software you prefer. Once I have everything that's coming up over a 90 day period on the master content list, I start dropping in additional content ideas that can help to supplement or amplify all of the promotional and sales content that I have planned. Since social media isn't just a place to sell stuff, the content ideas I add here will reflect other important KPIs included in my social media strategy like brand awareness, traffic, engagement, etc. While dropping in those non-promotional content ideas I'll start to get more granular about how I want to represent the information on each social media channel. Now inside Airtable, the content ideas are called records and I can open them up to include additional notes and drop in attachments, examples, or even copy suggestions. Within these records, I've also created a drop-down selection for the channel I want this content to live on. So these are color-coded, which makes my visual brain very happy, especially when planning this much content all at the same time. Once my master content list is filled, with high quality ideas for all of my channels, I'll move over to the calendar view where I've already plugged in the upcoming holidays, promotions, and launches based on those specific dates. Now I can begin dragging and dropping the unscheduled records, these are the content ideas, into the calendar. I put these records in where they make the most sense in relation to what we're currently promoting, ensuring that each channel is represented according to my social media strategy. Pro tip, I have my calendar's color set to show the record by the color of the social media channel that it represents. This allows me to easily see the various content I have planned and ensure similar posts are going out on different channels at the same time, creating a cohesive message across all platforms. Now, there are a lot of other options for how to view information in Airtable, and one of the views I use most often is in collaboration with a social media manager, copywriter, and designer. This Kanban view looks similar to a list on Trello, and it's much more visual than the master list or the calendar view, so it's great for quickly reviewing designed assets, imagery, and copy. Once the calendar, content, assets, and copy have been approved, it's time to take them into later to schedule everything to publish automatically. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you later.